or you're looking to start your journey as a backend developer. But at the same time, you're overwhelming by so much learning stack. Then you are at right place. Then I will share seven tips that you need to know that will make you pro developer in 2024. So let's dive in. This backend developer roadmap is language agnostic. It means if you're a Python developer or Java, C Sharp, or any language, this roadmap still work for you. So let's dive into the future proof of your skills. The first and very important skill is Git. Why? For three main reasons. The first reason is popularity and industry standards. Git is not only popular, but it's industry standard. More than 80% companies are using Git or they are planning to use Git. And number two, asset management. For any company, their code base is one of the most valuable assets for a company. So if you know how to manage a code effectively and efficiently, you are a pro. And third, collaboration. Git is essential for teamwork, especially after COVID, we have remote working. Being skilled in Git means you can work on team project more effectively and efficiently. And the second is mastering a core programming language. This backend roadmap does not focus on one specific language. It recognizes the wide variety of programming languages used in technology today. While some languages enjoy widespread popularity, others are really niche but still valuable. The key is not which language you choose. The key is how proficient you are. Whether it's Shisha, Python or Java, what matters is your deep understanding in the language. And it's more than just coding. It's about knowing the best ways to use the language. This includes writing clean and clear code. And the next is API development skills. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It serves as a critical link between different software systems. APIs enable different systems to communicate effectively. But one thing APIs goes beyond just technical know-how. It's about understanding the request response cycle, being familiar with data formats like JSON or XML, and implementing best practices in security and authentication. It is also making APIs more user-friendly, so they can be consumed and integrated with all the systems. And the fourth point is all about database, database management. In backend development, managing data is as crucial as writing the code itself. This means grasping the concept and use both SQL and non-SQL will be helpful. So SQL databases like MSQL, MySQL, Postgres are recognized for their robustness and reliability in handling structured data. They excel in situations where data integrity and complex queries are paramount. On the other hand, NoSQL databases like MangoDB offer scalability making them ideal for handling unstructured data and rapidly evolving data models. The ability to store, retrieve, manipulate and safeguard data is a cornerstone of backend development. It is not just about knowing the few commands or queries, it's about mastering the skill, mastering the art to design database, optimize database and more. And the next is cloud services basics. The importance of cloud services in the modern backend development can't be ignored. It's about grasping the core concept of cloud computing, scalability, security and cost efficiency. It's about understanding virtual servers, cloud storage and about cloud networks. And the next is code testing and debugging. Actually, it's one of my favorite ones. You're not supposed to write new code all the time. Sometimes you're supposed to fix bugs on the code base which was written by other developers. So debugging is more about understanding what the code actually is doing and making thoughtful adjustments and ensuring that the existing code not only continues to function smoothly but also evolve and improve over the time. This aspect of the job requires a keen eye for details, a solid understanding of the underlying architecture and the ability to think critically about how changes will impact the overall system. So, testing and debugging fundamentally for all the backend developers. This skill is really important. It's about maintaining the overall quality and improve it over the time. And the final point in my list is soft skills. A developer hard because of its technical skills, but far because of its soft skills. So, soft skills really plays a role. Technical skills are important. They are one part of the equation, but there's one more part soft skills. It is equally important are the soft skills that enable developers to work effectively in teams solving complex problems and communicate their ideas clearly. Problem solving is the heart of software development. This offer involves a combination of analytical thinking, creativity and persistence. Whether it's explaining a complex technical process to a known technical stakeholders, writing clear documentations or collaborating with team members. The ability to convey your information clearly and precisely is the key. By combining all these soft skills and your technical knowledge, you will become a pro developer. You will come in the top 3%. And now let me share a bonus tip. 
There's something more important in the backend development. It's about writing clean code. For very high level, by writing clean code, I mean a code that is doing what it's supposed to do, functioning properly, and also it should be easily readable, maintainable, and understandable by other developers. It involves organizing your code logically, using meaningful naming conventions, and more. If you want to learn more about it, watch this video. It's about 20 clean architectural tips that any developer can use. And thanks for watching.